What's going on, gamers? <laughs> that was uh, that was pretty cringy. <laughs> hey, Izzy here. Just popping in the intro real quick to say thank you for clicking on this video. I had a ton of fun playing this game. You should expect to see a video of this game every day or every other day. So make sure to subscribe if you like the content, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, Hazy here and welcome to Neon Abyss episode 1. This is a semi new game on Steam at the moment. It is a roguelike bullet hell shoot 'em up sort of game with a cyberpunk techno vapor wavy blend of aesthetics a uh, pretty cool looking game i do have a little bit of experience with it i have played a couple runs and so we are going to hop into a new save file though so we can you know start from the very beginning um i will explain a little bit of the game but not everything in full detail when we get into our first playthrough but let's go on ahead with the little intro cinematic here my friend, the enemy of my enemy. I'm Hades. Titan Group took most of my powers and destroyed your family. I need fighters like you to put an end to Titan's reign. Pours himself a little cyan concoction, passes it over to me. If you seek revenge, drink it. Down the hedge, boys, let's go. The game looks beautiful so it puts us in the tutorial right here we'll just play it together so we know exactly what's going on space the longer you press the higher you jump jump down fall through floors skinny skinny little floors seems good aim and shoot hold the mouse button pretty self-explanatory good stuff Let's kill some enemies here. And take some damage. Why not? While we're at it. I forget if the, if the tutorial immediately puts us into our first run. Let's get Terry with an active item. You can fly in the current room. Pick up some grenades. Let's throw these bad boys at the wall. So you'll notice these little blue shields we have. Those are like temporary health. Death ray. Mana crystal inside a couple of chests. We get some eggs. Eggs hatch into familiars with varying abilities, but sometimes the egg hatches into nothing. I don't know how much I like the death ray, but we'll try it out. We're against George, god of pills. Oh, did you see that MLG gamer jump? That's why I'm the best in the business, ladies and gentlemen. That's why they pay me the big bucks. S quick scope him. Do a little 360. So we have beaten George, god of pills, and we got a hip flask, which greatly increases our weapon damage. Destroy painted stones, win awesome prizes. Good to know. So it does throw us into our very first round here, so let's get started with it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and our uh, ability, I forgot the active with the death ray, is that we blink a short distance at no cost, which is very beneficial, I take it. Especially because this item shoots a little bit slower. Being able to reposition seems crucial to our ability to succeed in this run in situations 
just like that. And it seems like this greatly increased weapon damage is really helping us tear through enemies here. We are one-shotting most of these guys. Oop. And it looks like it's piercing. Um, let's see what we can do in this room. Oh. There we go. Do you think we're gonna be able to get up there with it? I'm gonna try a couple more times and then we're gonna leave the room. But I really wanna get these chests. If I can make this first jump, then I can make the second jump. There we go. There we go, let's go. We are real gamers. Proving ourselves one phase jump at a time. We got a couple of eggs there, which is nice. How have your weekends been going? My weekend's been pretty good so far. I ran out to, oh my gosh, I ran out to uh, Best Buy and Micro Center just to pick up some doodads. I am still debating whether I need to get a pop filter for my mic or if, this is a rainbow key, I've never seen one of these, but let's see what happens. Infinite key. While you have this key, you can unlock anything for free, and it expires at the end of the current level. Sounds like a good deal. So let's try to unlock as much as possible while we have the infinite key. I'll give you some crystals. I'm not exa- oh, okay, that gives us some wisdom. The wisdom and the wrath mechanic. I'm not sure exactly how they work. If you know, please let me know in the comments section. So essentially what I do know, however, is that if you do a room while taking no damage, you gain wisdom. And if you complete a room while taking damage, you gain wrath. Um, I'm not sure what happens at certain wisdom and wrath levels. Or violence, not wrath. Um, it's called violence. And... I believe um, it affects what kind of drops you get and noise. The idea of the past. Now what I actually don't know about uh, these items is if... Does hip flask... Hip flask applies to our current... Uh, gun right not the gun that we used when we picked it up okay let's go in here and pick up uh this room damages us but it lets us walk in it and this looks like it's extremely worth it oh what a beautiful bomb placement i wonder we might have been able to get all of those without using a. oh we might have been able to just get in that room without using a bomb period with our um small little teleports I don't think we have enough gold to go to the shop, but let's see what's in this unexplored room over here. So yeah, like I said, I went to Micro Center and Best Buy today looking for, um, whoa, this guy is intense. Looks like a Five Nights at Freddy's sniper. I was looking for some doodads at uh, Micro Center and Best Buy. They are out of stock of a lot of items. And what I didn't realize, but it makes complete sense, is that um, they are out of a lot of microphone materials because it doesn't make a lot of sense for companies to um, get microphone or uh, produce microphones right now or sell microphones because. Um, they are not allowed to take returns for them due to the pandemic. So, uh, it seems like the whole microphone business is just kind of in the dumps for the small time being. 
So like everywhere is out of stock. We have an item room here. So let's see what we get. Looks like a box of matches. If the egg touches the stone. Interesting. If the egg touches stone, such as doors or chests, they'll both explode and disappear. So it turns my eggs into bombs for stones. Let's go ahead and teleport to the shop. Let's see what's going on in here. And then we'll teleport to the boss room. Looks like nothing for me. Alrighty. We're against Remington, God of Guns. Alright, Remington. Show me your worst. We got a little bit of a bully hell. Bullet hell. Kind of boss here, it looks like. I'm assuming the blink is gonna do us some good here. We might be able to just... Oh. Took one... Two hits of damage there. Let's see our item. Space Soda. Drink of the Space Age. Drink of the Space Age. Add a heart container and increase your weapon damage slightly. That seems pretty solid. This is looking like a pretty good run so far. We have two damage ups. Uh, uh, upgraded familiar. Oh, those these bomb guys. Um... I don't have the game mechanical skill yet to identify them immediately and kill them. Oh. So let's see. Let's go this way. Let's try. Uh, I was going to say let's try to get some wisdom from this thing, but it looks like it will give us wrath. And I think we can touch it, do damage to ourselves, and increase our wrath meter a little bit. I don't know if that's worth it. I don't know if that actually does anything, but... Um, there's a stone chest. Are those typically worth it to open up? Ah, uh, looks like it was alright. I thought that was a jumpy platform. This little old man is picking up all my money. Come on, dude. Oh, I'm taking a lot of, uh, probably not so good damage. Okay, let's, let's calm down here. Ooh. This looks suspicious. Is this one of those secret rooms? No. Very much not. But we do have an item room, which I am excited to see. It looks like a blue heart. Iron heart. You will lose hearts first even if you have shields. You will lose hearts first even if you have shields. You are gradually accepting this fact. For some reason, this item seems like it could be very powerful. I wonder if it has, it just has that feeling around it, you know, blue heart. I wonder if it increases our chance to get shield drops or anything in addition. You are gradually accepting this fact. Does that mean anything? I don't know. What have been your guys' impressions of this game so far? It looks like this has changed to a shield. Do we, um, let's see if this heart changes, uh, down here on the map. No. 
No. Did we just miss that shield before as we were running past it? Ooh. A couple of chests. A couple of eggs. Looks like old... What's his name? Uh, Grabber. We should think of a name for Grabber. I like Th Theodore. Oh, he's firing shots. Whoops. These blobs are scaring me a little bit. I have no what Oh, that was an egg. Oh, careful. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I do not like this item that's making all my eggs explode. Whoa. I generally like to see my eggs hatch before I um, leave them to a fiery demise. Reaction times. Although, I guess... If you would really like to. <laughs> okay, maybe I uh, judged this egg item too soon. That seemed pretty good. Just don't let the egg touch any stones you don't want it to. Let's see what's in the shop. Why not? Oh, I just, uh... I just threw a bomb on there by accident. Um... Okay, so it looks like the items in the shop are always going to cost 70 gold. Anywhere else to go? Um... Yeah, let's pick up the health. Let's play the game correctly instead of quickly. We do have a lot of health, though. This seems pretty good. So I was trying to make more League videos. Um, okay, one sec. We're going to focus on this. Because I have no idea what's happening with these letters. Or anything in this uh, boss fight. He is getting angry. And these little letters on the TV are... See, I already did. Okay. He seemed very squishy. And not very scary at all. Let's see what we got. Golden apple. Upgrade your weapon. So we've got an upgraded weapon. And we increase our movement speed slightly. So anyway, I've been trying to create more league content which is a little bit harder than I originally thought. Um, not only, there, there are more variables to making a good league video than other videos, I feel. Um, first off, you gotta make sure the game is good, right? Nobody wants to see you get absolutely clobbered, unless you make it funny, which is possible. I've tried to do that a little bit. Um, I'm getting hit by this guy a lot. So, it has to be a good game for the most part. It has to have good commentary over that good game. And a lot of little things can mess it up. When in a game like this, I just do a run and hopefully the content is more reliable. Tell me if you guys like seeing me th uh, play this game and I will definitely do more of it.
Hopefully these episodes don't go too long because I know the attention span to watch a new YouTuber play, you know, maybe a 30 minute run, um, definitely is stretching it. So hopefully the average run doesn't take too long. I know in Isaac, you know, the average run probably takes 35 minutes. These little wormy guys are very... I will gladly open this. We are not using a lot of crystals, so I'll trade my crystals for almost anything. Blasting cap, 5,000. My bombs create an X shape. I wonder if my bombs from the eggs also create an X shape. This is very interesting. We have a new gun. Let's see what it does. Fire kiss. The more hearts you have, the more bullets you can fire. That seems like it's a very strict nombo, a non-combo with the, well, there goes an egg, with the uh, blue heart, because I'm going to be taking red heart damage first, and therefore my fire kiss will be doing less damage, so I'm going to go ahead and forego that new weapon. This game has a pretty killer soundtrack, if I do say so. I don't know how well you guys can hear it. I might have to adjust the audio, but it's got um, some... Okay, let's test it. So we are able to do these rooms without taking any damage, with, which seems like a very big upside for this gun. This gun's passive seems like it's pretty darn good. Um, not sure what... Okay. I'm going to need you guys to calm down a little bit. Truthfully, I have no idea what just happened there. We got a lot of gold. I'm guessing it was from our grabber um, throwing himself in front of the bullets for me, which I do appreciate greatly. So let's gamble with a little bit of our gold. You can play these for five coins to get a chance to enter the room. Is that a glitch? We did definitely did not win that uh What? We did not we did not win that uh that little slot machine. I was completely blanking on the word for a slot machine. Not uh so much of a gambler in real life. I've been to a casino once. It was for a friend of mine's birthday in freshman year of college. And the only reason we were able to go is it, 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 it is the one casino in Michigan. What did that prompt just say, by the way? I've got no idea. It's the one casino in Michigan that doesn't serve alcohol on the casino floor. So you're allowed to go there when you're 18. So we went there. I spent $10 on some games, and then I left. So let's pick up Imperial Force. There's a chance we'll fire a laser. Whether or not it hits anything is a different story, is another matter. Where do I fire the laser? Is it where my laser is already firing, so I have a chance to fire multiple lasers? There it is. Okay, we can actually see the laser if we just tap. Cool. But we do not fire lasers if we just hold it down. Let's definitely... Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go to the shop. And let's buy some goodies. We've got a gun that costs 70. The judgment. Justice will be dispensed in 3, 2... I hate this gun. So he just threw 70 gold at the ground and spat at it. Block. God of bitter coin? Ooh.
Mm. So we obviously took a lot of damage there, but I will say that is a cool boss fight. Looks like he was sucking in bullets from the outside in. So I'm increasing my rate of fire and weapon damage with the paper windmill, which seems good. We are on level four, which, or level five. We are on level five, which I'm not sure if this is the last floor of the like first phase of the game or if it's the last current floor. Um, that is as far as the map shows us. We have a good amount of HP, so I'm feeling fairly comfortable about that. I think our damage is good. Quite frankly, I have no idea. This is going to be an easy floor for us. We're able to hit these guys through the ground. And I think I'm just able to hit this guy. Yep. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Let's try to find the shop as quick as possible because I want to spend this maybe large amount of gold. Seals patch. Upgrade your weapon, increase your movement speed. So I think upgrading your weapon is generally better than just getting a damage upgrade. Nice. Having the blue heart is really nice because it lets us um, stay at a comfy level of HP uh, while also being able to pick up red hearts. Because I think red hearts are a little bit more common than shields. This is very bright. What's going on here? I just poured myself a nice cup of coffee. I drink my coffee in an interesting way. Now let me preface this by saying I greatly enjoy my dark black cups of coffee with very little sugar. That's typically how I drink it um, when I'm out of the house. You know, if I'm going to a Starbucks or something, I just get a grande black, black iced coffee. And I love it. I enjoy every sip of that. I also love lattes and I love milk um so when I'm at home not very often but you know maybe every seventh eighth cup of coffee I drink will be a lot of milk because it can mimic that taste of a cafe not a cafe latte but a cafe's latte without needing like a a frother to froth up the milk is that the term? A frother? It, 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 and it mimics the flavor fairly well. I, I greatly enjoy it. Even though it's like adding... This is, analogy isn't going to make sense at all. It's like adding uh, a shot of um, vodka into a ton of grape juice and saying this is a pretty good wine, you know? It's nothing like a latte, but it almost tastes like it. Launches 10 bullets after a bomb explodes. Are they my bullets or are they random bullets? Because if they're my bullets, it's going to launch 10 lasers. And that sounds pretty cool. I'm still debating on what kind of language I would like to use on this channel. Um, how colorful I should be. And I'm sure when I'm amongst... Uh, Whoa! What is this ring around me? I'm sure once I'm in the heat of maybe a boss fight or an important game of League, you know, things will slip. But for the most part, I'm going to try to keep it somewhat clean. I would hate for somebody, you know, to watch my channel and not feel comfortable with it simply for the fact that I swore a couple times. Granted, 
I would also feel bad if somebody didn't watch my channel due to the lack of swearing, but if you're not watching a channel due to the lack of swearing, I question what you find good content. Whoops. I only watch YouTubers that swear every sentence. Okay, we are uh, getting dangerously low on health for the sole reason of taking a lot of stupid damage. Now, it looks like there's a piece of paper right here for 70 gold coins, and whenever I'm offered this situation, I buy it. You receive a delivery... What? You receive delivery of a batch of bombs. So I have 20 bombs now. Which is cool. Uh, I have three health. I might want to do the boss because I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, we've already cleared the floor actually. So there's no reason not to do the boss. So let's try this. We're against Argus, God of Darknet. Okay, it looks like these guys... Oh, I thought they were going to shoot in a grid. Oh, they are shooting in a grid. So they're either going to shoot in a grid or they're going to shoot at me. I can get down with that. Oh, we are so close to getting him. We got him. Let's go. Rock. What was that? Power diamonds. Absolute power. Upgrade your weapon. Increase both your melee weapon and... Your melee and weapon damage. Wonderful. So we're entering this blue portal as you gradually lose consciousness. That was quick. <laughs> it's back. Okay. As you gradually, as you gradually lose consciousness, you're surrounded by a warm light. This is only the beginning. Great. You defeated the first manager, unlocking new levels and managers. But there are more challenges waiting for you. Boom. New target. Well done. You have unlocked a new ma ma Have I been saying manager this whole time? Manger? <laughs> oh, that, that's embarrassing. Um, you have unlocked a new manger. And a brand new level. Wait. No. It says unknown manager. What is happening? I've unlocked a new manger that holds a new manager? God of machines. Humans created machines to serve them. But as machi machines became more intelligent, they began to replace their creators designed with their own. Who is the future? Okay, so before I wrap this video up, the last little mechanic I want to show you is we get these, you might have noticed, we get these golden gems whenever we beat a boss. I think you get one every time you beat a boss. You can use them to permanently unlock this skill tree here. So as you notice, the first one cost one gold gem and it gives us the passive effect of there will be at least one hidden room on each level of the dungeon. So we'll go ahead and unlock that. Cool. And it looks like you can get this one for two. Um, it is an item pack with Death Believer. Kill enough enemies and you'll drop extra hearts. Let's go. You will get these items for free in your next run. So we have two golden gems left, and it does not look like there is anything we can afford. We're going for marked stone and piano room on the next unlock. So thank you guys for watching episode one of Neon Abyss. I had a ton of fun filming this one. It seems like a great game that I will definitely be playing a little bit more of. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. If you want to suggest any new games, 
any tips or tricks for this game, or any general comments, go ahead and see the comment section below. Tell me what you're thinking, what's on your mind, tell me how your day was going, anything you want to talk about, I'll respond. We'll have a nice little conversation. And lastly, if you liked this particular video, please hit that thumbs up button. It would mean a lot to me. I'll see you on the next one.